Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to talk about something I've never talked about on this YouTube channel before, and that is my own personal experience with the no poo method for around the last five years. And if you're someone that has no idea what this is, I'm going to explain to you fully before I go into my own personal experience and I'm going to talk a little bit more about no poo as well so you can just learn as much information on it if you're new to this. So the no poo method which a lot of people call the no shampoo method involves using no chemicals to wash your hair or whatsoever and most people on the no poo method only use water or apple cider vinegar and or baking soda to wash their hair and their scalp. So yeah, no poo means no crap on your head or hair whatsoever. And if you're someone that is to look into the history of wash products and people washing their hair with wash products, leading up till just before the 1970s, most people only used to wash their hair about once a month and then loads of companies started creating very cheap, toxic, chemical filled wash products, started marking them to people and started getting them to believe they needed to wash their hair very, very frequently with these wash products. So then people started washing their hair about twice every single week. And then over time, in a short while after these products come out, people started to believe that you needed to wash your hair every single day because obviously, from a marketing standpoint of view, getting people to believe that they need to wash their hair every single day is going to maximize the profits for these companies that are selling these toxic products. And what these toxic chemical wash products do is actually strip the natural oils produced by your head and hair and your body is also absorbing those toxic chemicals which have a whole host of negative effects on your health holistically short term and long term. So by them having this negative effect on your head and hair it starts to cause things such as dandruff, greasy hair and other scalp and hair issues which so many people have suffered with in their life or are still suffering with it in their life still and now. So now I'm gonna go into my own personal experience. So when I first embarked on this journey, I didn't know about the no poo method whatsoever. I just got to a point within my life that I just wanted to live a chemical free lifestyle in every way that I possibly could. Because leading up to that point, I put so many different chemicals into my body from all different types of sources and it started to just have a negative effect on my health and I just started to go more in the direction of wanting to live a natural, healthy lifestyle as much as I possibly could. So I just made the choice to first off, start using natural wash products, which was around six years ago. So this is why I'm saying I've only done no poo for around five years ago, because I was using certain natural wash products, which some people say you can do that with no poo, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say that is the true no poo method. And then after a short while, I just stopped using them completely because I felt that it was completely unnecessary. And around five years ago, or just after them, I did get dreadlocks. So for around, I think, two and a half years, I did have dreadlocks out of the total five years of the no poo method. And as you know, most people that have dreadlocks, well, a lot of people think that you don't wash your hair at all, but they rarely wash their hair and most people that do wash their dreadlocks use natural products but for me when I had my dreadlocks I think I only used apple cider vinegar and baking soda around three to four times because for obvious reasons not washing dreadlocks whatsoever they just get full of so much black dirt on the scalp and in the dreadlocks and they can get quite dirty and smelly and filthy so yeah using the apple cider vinegar with the baking soda was a really good way for me to remove all of the stuff that was stuck on my hair and scalp so I could have the most healthiest clean dreadlocks and scalp possible. And I found for me, my roots of the dreadlocks because the hair is normally loose there, didn't get greasy whatsoever or I didn't get any dandruff or any hair issues. And many times in my life I suffered with dandruff and greasy hair and it was just a horrible thing to suffer with, especially when I was a teenager and at school a lot of people will make fun of you and it just doesn't boost your confidence levels and self esteem whatsoever and you just don't feel good about yourself fully whatsoever for understandable reasons. And then after around two and a half years of doing no poo, I shaved off 
my dreadlocks because I didn't want them whatsoever and I just started letting my hair grow through and then I'd let it get to a certain length and then it'd get to a length where I didn't like it at all and I didn't want to waste any time styling my hair and getting my hair cut whatsoever because I just feel that it's completely unnecessary getting haircuts done and spending money on that and wasting time on it and then spending loads of time every single day styling your hair it's just something that I personally don't want to do so from around two and a half years ago yeah I'd let it grow and then I'd shave it so I haven't let my hair grow the whole time whilst doing the no poo method but at the moment I am allowing my hair to grow as long as it wants because I just feel that I want to be doing this currently in my life so I haven't cut my hair for around four months and my hair quality is just absolutely amazing on the no poo method again no dandruffs sometimes it gets slightly greasy and I found just washing it through with cold water gets rid of any slight grease that could be on my hair which is just the body producing naturally occurring oils from the hair and head which is absolutely fine because it gives you amazing hair quality and some people find they need to use hot water because that helps strip out the oil easier but for me cold water has always been fine and I completely believe the reason why my hair quality is so amazing and healthy and my scalp as well is because I haven't used any chemical products on my head or my hair for such a long time and when I used to grow my hair in the past years and years and years ago way before the no poo method my hair quality wasn't like it is now as I mentioned early on I used to suffer with greasy hair and dandruff and other hair and scalp issues so where my hair is at now it just feels so soft like new baby's hair it's just wow and my hair is so lustrous and so thick and I find that I'm not losing loads of hair we're all losing hair every single day from my head but some people a lot of people are using excessive amounts of hair and just my hair quality is amazing when I feel it it's just like wow it's like silky silky smooth and my scalp just feels absolutely amazing and it just makes me feel really really good about myself not that I need external things to make me feel good about myself because a lot of feeling good about yourself comes from within so for me I just love the way my hair is and I'm someone that used to dye my hair with so many different synthetic colors in my hair because that's what I just used to like to do as you can see in these different photos that I'm going to show you now and yeah it was fun to do but it definitely had very damaging negative effects on my hair especially using bleach products it would make the hair brittle and dry and yeah I just don't have that at all my hair is just so soft and amazing and yeah as you can see when I'm touching it it just <laughs> makes me smile as well because it just feels so good and I just love the freedom with no poo I never have to rely upon any companies to buy products from that I don't actually need whatsoever so that obviously saves me a lot of money because people don't realize how much they're normally spending on wash products over a year let alone in their whole lifetime so it saves that money so I can spend it on other more important things that are actually good for me and that are actually necessary and what I want to say is I know a lot of people personally that are my friends that have embarked on the no poo method and it can be different for everyone some people's hair will get very greasy for quite an extended period of time and it can be quite an annoying frustrating thing for them but I, I find people that just push through and keep going the hair and scalp has to start getting back to the natural state before you start using chemical products on it so then you can have the best hair quality possible whilst on the no poo method and if you're someone that's really having issues you can use the apple cider vinegar and baking soda with hot water and for most people that will resolve any issues that they're having on the no poo method so you can actually stand it short term and long term and then you can find after doing it for quite some time you don't need to use any of those things whatsoever and you could just use cold water like I do and something I want to add on to this is I also think about the environmental impact that these chemical wash products or even natural wash products have on the environment and also the negative impact on animals and you can do your research up online into this and there's a lot of science done on this now to actually prove what I'm saying so if you want to look into that you can look into that up online and one thing you've got to think about is with the chemical wash products when you are washing them down the drain 
they are at some point going into our environment which is having a negative impact on it and the next thing that is having a negative impact on environment and this is whether it's coming from chemical wash products for your hair and head or natural ones is the packaging that you are getting them in which in most cases is in plastic packaging and if you look into it there's an epidemic in the world and the plastic crisis so to speak where there is just so much plastic from so many different sources that is being dumped in our natural environment and having negative impact on it and also the animals and there is so many photos that you can find up online I'm gonna put some in this video showing birds and whales and other animals that are just full of plastic substances and obviously all the containers are not just from wash products but how many people in the world are using wash products for the hair that come in plastic packaging and how much of that is being dumped within our environment because plastic containers do not break down very easily and they contain certain toxic substances that are not good for animals or our environment whatsoever and whether people are aware of it or not it's having a negative effect on their health in one way or another because for example when plastic goes within the sea which there's so much within it it starts to break down and then people are consuming things such as salt and fish and seaweed that is full of so much plastic and you're not necessarily going to see it in your salt but if you're using some sort of microscope that can look at it you can see that it has a lot of plastic within it and plastic contains so many toxic substances especially things known as xenoestrogens which raise estrogen levels within the body and drop testosterone levels which is so many issues for men but almost female as well and then there's so many other negative effects that you're getting from all of these carcinogenic which are cancer causing chemicals that are within plastic and for me I want to do as many things within my life and not choose to do certain things that have a negative effect on the planet, animals and me as a person and other humans. So this is one of those things. And one last thing that I almost forgot to mention, diet plays a huge key into how your hair and head quality is going to be when doing this no poo method. If you're eating loads of greasy fried processed food that's full of chemicals and stripped of so many beneficial nutrients, in a lot of cases for people that are eating that, they're never going to get the best hair and head quality that they possibly can with the no poo method. So you really need to look at your diet. And for me, when I embarked on this journey, I switched to a vegan diet that contains mostly plant-based foods in their whole food. So an abundance of grains, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, fruits, and vegetables, and many other different plant-based foods. So I really, really believed that that helped me get the head quality that I have, where it's just absolutely optimal and so healthy and hair quality as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on anything that I talked to you today about in this video of my own personal experience with the no poo method for around the last five years, leave them down below. And if you'd like me to make any other specific videos on this subject, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to make them for you. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about my own personal experience with no poo for the last five years. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on an almost everyday basis. And make sure that when you do click that subscribe button down below, you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So stay happy, stay healthy, and make the most of your amazing day. Peace.